If you could ask God for anything, knowing that he would give you whatever you asked him for, what would you ask him for? I asked my children this question last Sunday and I uh, got some very interesting answers. This is a question that we think of as maybe not possible. It's a question that we think of as distant or foreign, not likely to happen, but it does happen. It happens much more often than we think. In the Bible, we read the story of Solomon. Solomon becomes king, king of Israel at the age of 12. What happened? Well, he, he began to experience two things that are among the most common emotions in our society today. He became anxious and he became overwhelmed. He was anxious about being a good king. He was overwhelmed by the number of decisions he needed to make. Overwhelmed by his responsibility. God appeared to Solomon in a dream and put before him the question that I put before you. Ask me for anything, Solomon. And of course, Solomon asked for wisdom. He asked for wisdom because he realized that it was wisdom that would help him overcome his anxiety. It was wisdom that would help him overcome the feeling of being overwhelmed. Because his particular form of anxiety was around all the decisions he needed to make. His particular form of being overwhelmed was about all the responsibilities and and decisions he needed to make. And so he asked God for wisdom and, and God gave him wisdom, you know, and in almost any society today, Solomon and wisdom are synonymous. Another example we read about in the scriptures is the disciples. Throughout the entire gospels, the disciples only make one collective request of Jesus. They come to him asking for different things individually or as smaller groups. But together they came to him and said, teach us to pray. In many ways, their request was the same as Solomon's. They were, they were seeking wisdom. They saw Jesus going away to a quiet place each night, each morning to pray. And they wanted to, they wanted to know what goes on. You know, when you go away to that quiet place, that solitary place, what happens? What do you do? Teach us to pray. We all have needs and we all have desires. Some of those needs and desires we are aware of, and some of those needs and desires we're unconscious of. We all have a need and a desire to pray. We all have a need and a desire to be taught how to pray. But very often we're unconscious of that need and that desire. One of the things we're trying to bring into focus in our time together throughout this series is our need to pray and our desire to pray and our desire and our need to be taught how to pray. A need for wisdom is great. We see that at every turn in our lives. We're making choices every single day. We need wisdom to make good choices, to make healthy choices, to make wise choices. God's invitation to prayer is an invitation to participate in a well of wisdom that will serve you well every single day for the rest of your life.